Yo, yo, what's up, guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, gonna show you how to remove blemishes on your YouTube thumbnail, on your image. If you put your, if you're a gamer, and for example, and you put your video, you put your image on your thumbnail, and you've got some blemishes, acne, zits, scars. I don't know. Maybe you took a cannonball to the face. I don't know. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Let's get going. The first step is you want to go to your Finder or your Windows Explorer, in all likelihood, drag and drop the photo that you want to work on. Right here, it's dragged and dropped it for me, but it dragged and dropped it into the top left quadrant. I don't want that. So I clicked on it, and I'm going to move it. Now I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to click on this little, you'll see that little rectangle or square? I'm clicking on it, and I'm just holding up. And what I'm doing is I'm just increasing the size of it so that it fits kind of where I want it. Good. Okay, I'm going to hit enter, and now it's placed. Now the work starts. The first step to get rid of any blemishes is to use one of three tools. The first tool, and probably the most useful tool, let me just go over here onto the left side here, is the Spot Healing Brush tool right here. You'll see it. I'll hover over it again. Right here, Spot Healing Brush. And what you want to do is you want to zoom in tight, and you can increase or decrease the size of this. And the way to do that is using the right or the left bracket. So depending on which version you want, I'm going to go ahead and increase the size to about that. Spot Healing Brush does not require a set point. It doesn't require you to take it from any other piece. It just does automatic and uh, does AI to try and do it. So I'm going to left click on it and see what we got. Doesn't work. We've got to rasterize the layer first. To rasterize a layer, right click on it and then you'll see convert to smart object. Once you've converted to a smart object, right click again and it allows you to rasterize it. It's two steps. It's kind of weird, but hey, it's free software, so it works. Now left click on that, um, on the blemish, this case, this acne, left click on it and you'll see presto, it's gone. I'm gonna do it on this one. Presto, it's gone. And when I zoom way in, it's done a pretty good job. But if you've got an eagle eye, you'll notice that it's got a little bit of deformation there. So I'm gonna Command Z and undo those. And I'm gonna show you the second tool that you can use. The second tool is the standard healing brush. This is different than the spot healing brush because you gotta hold down the Alt or the Option key. And what ends up happening is it takes, basically it's skin grafting. It looks at a section, so I'm gonna hold down the Alt key, and I'm hovering over a piece of the skin that I like. I like this part here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hover and left click on it. And you'll see it's gone ahead and removed it as well. I'm gonna do this one as well. I'm gonna hold down the Alt or the Option key if you're on a Mac, and I'm gonna select maybe this color of the skin right here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and left click on it, and presto. It's removed it. So that's the second option. The third and final option is the patch tool. This one's a little trickier, but it does really, really good job. And it allows you to be very, very precise. I'm gonna zoom way in. And once you've got the patch tool selected, I'm actually gonna go ahead and draw around the area that I wanna remove. Good, I've got that. Now I'm just gonna left click on it and I'm gonna move it up. And I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm just selecting an area of skin that I think, uh, matches what I'm looking for so something like that and then I'm gonna let go and now when I zoom out I'm gonna go to select deselect and it has removed that blemish this is three ways to do it to make your gaming thumbnails and make your face look a lot better for YouTube thanks for watching ton more stuff coming up stay tuned